All right, what's going on guys? It's Sam here. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to dream shake in NBA 2K21 and the best badges and animations you should be using when attempting this move. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, why should everyone know how to perform the Dream Shake? Well, the Dream Shake is one of those simple yet effective post moves that will always keep your opponents guessing when you're working in the post. And just knowing how to Dream Shake also adds another move to your bag of tricks when you're posting up your opponent and just wanting to combo together different post moves. So quickly, before I get into how to perform the Dream Shake, it's very important for you guys to know the factors that increase your chances of this move being effective against your opponent in the first place. And the first thing I wanna mention are the badges that will increase the likelihood of this working. And this list prioritizes the most important badges first. So the first two, and pretty much the only two that directly impact the Dream Shake animation is the Dream Shake badge. There's a badge dedicated to it. Dream Shake, and then the Pump Fake Maestro. And the Dream Shake just increases the move uh, being effective in the first place. And then the Pump Fake Maestro um, increases like how quick you go up with the with the shot after you fake or after you pump fake. And then the rest of the badges here I mentioned, consistent finisher, pro touch, slurly finisher, deep fades, deep hooks, and back down punisher. These don't directly impact the dream shake animation, but these are gonna be crucial when you're posting, when you're performing other post moves out of, you know, comboing up from the dream shake uh, move. And then lastly here, animations. There are really only two animations that directly, again, affect the dream shake and or the Dream Shake animation, and that is the Shimmy Hook and the Shimmy Fade animations. And there's not very many of those animations in the game. And luckily, there's some pretty obvious ones or the best ones in the game. Like there's, there's, it's pretty obvious which ones are the best in the game. And the best Shimmy Fade is the Shimmy Fade 2. And then by far, the best Shimmy Hook animation is the Shimmy Hook 2, which is just, again, hands down the best one in the, in the game, and it creates the most space. So if you guys saw my Hook tutorial video or haven't already, I recommend you go watch that. But I mentioned that Shimmy Hook 2 in that video too. Shimmy Hook 2 is just the best in the game. And then I also recommend having a good fade and hook animation. Um, again, this doesn't directly impact the, shimmy, the, the Dream Shake move, but I recommend having a good fade and hook because when you combo out of the, the Dream Shake, you're going to be using the fade and hook animations. And the fade I recommend equipping on your player is fade 3 in my opinion, and then hook 3 for your hook shot. But with all that information out of the way, let's go ahead and get into how to Dream Shake in NBA 2K21. All right, so getting into the Dream Shake tutorial, guys, this is actually super, super easy. And I know I say this in a lot of my tutorials, but this is actually super, super easy. And it requires only three buttons on your controller, seriously, only three. And that it's just amazing because you can get so many looks and, and shots off of just one Dream Shake. And that's not even including uh, the different post move combos you can throw in here. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is talk through the move and then I'm gonna perform the move, and then I'm gonna talk through the move while I'm performing the move. So depending on if you wanna learn visually from the hand cam or from me talking, if you're like an auditory learner or both, um, I, you, we have everything for you. So what I'm gonna do here is hold the L2 button, and then depending on which direction I wanna fade, guys, because this is a post move, me, a dream shake is a post move, so you have to hold L2, but depending on the direction I wanna fade, if, if I wanna fade to the left, I'm gonna hold L2 and press the left stick to the left, and double tap square. If I wanna shimmy fade just away from the baseline, I'm gonna hold post up and press the left stick away from the baseline and double tap square. And if I wanna shimmy fade to the right, um, I'm gonna hold L2 and press to the right and double tap square. And then if I wanna shimmy hook, uh, you're gonna press the left stick directly towards the baseline while holding L2 and double tapping square. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a shimmy fade to the left here. So I'm gonna hold L2, double tap square, Green bean, look at that. I'm pretty sure Kawhi Leonard has the Shimmy Fade 2, like I recommended, and the Shimmy Hook 2 as well. So definitely the best Shimmy animations out there. And I'm gonna go ahead and perform a Shimmy Hook now. So I'm holding L2, gonna press the left stick towards the baseline. I always say the hoop, but baseline is the same thing. And then double tap square. And we get a Shimmy Hook animation. And it's not as OP as last year, or maybe Kawhi Leonard just has a low hook. This is the uh, current Kawhi Leonard from the play now, so maybe he doesn't have a good hook. Uh, but this move used to be OP back in 2K20, and it probably is going to be pretty good in 2K21 too, but probably not as OP because I think they did nerf hooks a little bit. But here we go. I'm going to fade again to the left, holding L2, double tapping square and pressing the left stick to the right. And some of these, uh, you know, depending 
on the fade equipped as well because I did recommend having a good fade on because as you can see you do end up going into a fade the shimmy fade is just just depend like the shimmy fade animation depends or affects how quickly you go into the animation and depending on the direction and same for the hook but the fade three or the fade animation itself affects the speed and space creation of the uh the fade itself so that's why uh if you guys did skip or if you did watch the uh, beginning of the tutorial it's important for you guys to have good post moves and good fade and hook shots that uh, create a lot of space so i'm gonna just keep i'm gonna keep performing a couple more moves here and uh so you guys can look at the hand cam but if you guys have any more questions or if you're still confused definitely leave a comment below i try my best to reply to everyone and i did see last year when i made these type of videos that a lot of people were helping each other out in the comments if they had questions or it was maybe it wasn't even regarding the move itself but like best badges or like what people have on their builds uh so definitely comment below if you guys have questions or you know have tips i mean something i didn't mention in the video that you think would help out others uh definitely leave that in the comment below in the comments below and if this video did help you out guys please go ahead hit the like button it lets me know i'm doing a good job and it definitely helps the uh performance of the video it definitely helps me out if you hit the like button and i do have other play or i do have a playlist of other move tutorials too so if you want to become a better nba 2k21 player or just you know have more moves at your disposal or increase your basketball iq and stuff like that definitely check that out link in the description in the comments and also consider subscribing too because we make a lot of tutorials and i actually do primarily make my team content so if you're a my team guy or you know maybe you're my team guy later in the year definitely uh consider subscribing because that is definitely uh what i do mostly on this channel and i do live stream every day so if that sounds like something you guys would like definitely consider subscribing but guys thank you so much for watching again if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer them but until next time thank you guys so much for watching peace out